Ladies and gentlemen, wonderful people, this is Call of Duty Fanatics. Welcome back to another Warzone report. And this one, as usual, is going to be very, very interesting because in the last couple of hours we had a couple of snap updates which basically brought some new details into Verdansk and for the upcoming uh, Battle of Verdansk live event which is finally going to reveal the next Call of Duty title which is called Call of Duty Vanguard. But let's first start from the beginning of these new details. First of all I'm here at the silo of bunker number 10 and this guard uh, tower or a post or a station was not here before. So this was added recently and I assume this was added with the today's update um, which we had roughly a couple of hours ago. And the second thing guys that I wanted to show you is in this hangar or barrack or call it as you please. And take a look at this blueprint. It's a new set of blueprints I would say and this is actually the tank engine or locomotive of this menace that's gonna visit Verdansk and that we have to destroy. The next thing that I wanted to show you here is the architecture company or whatever this thing is called. It's in downtown and it's basically a building company but take a closer look. The full floor of these uh, blueprints are here in this building and it's a very nice easter egg and a very nice reference to what's coming. But I was looking at these blueprints and thanks to Killer Stage, again, he kindly pointed me to one very particular details and take a look at this guys. This is very important because so far we only know how the main part of this train is going to look like. We know what are going to be the weak spots, I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. But we are not aware that this train will also hold a massive rail cannon. Now I heard a couple of stories and theories that Schwerer Gustav is actually coming with this armored train that's gonna hit Verdansk and I was kind of skeptical but when I actually saw these barrels over here I was definitely in favor of that theory. Now many of you will probably ask what's Schwerer Gustav when we translate this from German is actually heavy Gustav and that was a German 80 centimeter railway gun. It was developed in the late 30s by Krupp in Rugenwalde as siege artillery for the explicit purpose of destroying the main forts of the French Maginot Line, the strongest fortification in existence at the time. So the Nazis first used this uh, weapon in 1942 during the siege of Sevastopol and it was actually the first combat test for this weapon. 4,000 men and 5 weeks were needed to get the gun in firing position. 500 men were needed to fire it. Like, this is, this is crazy. Installation of this gun began in early May and by the 5th of June the gun was ready to fire. Which is absolutely crazy, guys. If we are going to get this thing in Verdansk or at least half of it, I'm, I'm already too excited. Uh, to talk any further about this, but I'm really looking forward to see how they are going to implement this cannon gun in the game. So after a small history lesson, let's go back to Verdansk and what's actually going to happen today. First of all, we have all the intel that we need to prepare ourselves for upcoming uh, armored train that's going to also have a heavy cannon attached to it. So Intel is suggesting that the turrets on this train are the weakest spots of it. And the first thing that we need to do is to pair up with your squad, of course, with our squads. And then we have to look for the TNT. Then I assume we have to climb on a train and place the TNT to blow the turrets. Now I'm not 100% sure are we going to be able to get inside that train. 
I can't even imagine how big that thing is, but considering the fact that they haven't expanded the tunnels, the two tunnels that we have in Verdansk, which is the hospital tunnel and the tunnel at Tavorsk district, I'm not 100% sure that that thing would be big enough to get inside. But anyways, after you ambush the train and somehow when you stop it, then you need to finish your job and completely destroy it. That doesn't include only the turrets, you have to complete the wagons and everything that's on that train. So after that, you need to seek for an exfil. Now many of you were asking, what kind of environment are we going to have over here? Now people were thinking that it's going to be player versus player thing, but amen, finally, this time and this event is going to be players versus environment which actually means that you will not have other people and other player attacking you during this event, which is absolutely amazing. And it's amazing because you don't have to worry about hackers, you don't have to worry about cheaters, and you don't have to worry about rose sweats that will probably also flood this event. But doesn't matter, you will not die, probably you, you can die, definitely, probably this... this train could kill you or some other things that are going to appear but you're not going to confront this time other people in this event and this is the first time that we are all together to stop this menace from probably destroying Verdansk completely the one thing ladies and gentlemen that we still don't know is are we going to fight only this uh, armored train with a rail cannon or we are going to fight some artificial intelligence, like we used to have zombies before in Verdansk. Are we maybe going to have some German soldiers or maybe some other faction or... I'm not 100% sure. I wouldn't be surprised even if zombies are appearing somewhere because this is kind of a blast from the past. And we already have the Nazi zombies in the Black Ops Cold War. So it wouldn't be actually a foolish idea if we are going to have zombies as well in this event. But anyways, I really hope that we will get something else as well, because uh, hunting only for train and being that the only mission here is going to be kind of too easy, I would say. Maybe I'm wrong, but to me that looks like that. So I really expect that we get some artificial intelligence as well, some bots or something like that, like we used to have zombies uh, during the... A containment protocol in Verdansk. So, my fellow Verdansk citizens, arm yourself. This is the last stand of Verdansk and we need to defend our, our beloved city and we are going to win. So, this would be all for this small update and small report. Please let me know what you think about it in a comment section below and until next time, I wish you all the best and stay frosty.